I tested the secrets for perfectly creamy mashed potatoes, and I think I found what works the best. These are the creamiest, smoothest mashed potatoes I've ever had, and all it takes is four ingredients. I wanted to test how they're cooked, how they're mashed, and how they're finished. Now let's start with the potato itself. I went with Yukon Gold potatoes here. Yukon Gold are around the middle level of a starchy potato, so they're gonna fluff up more than a waxy potato, but not be as fluffy as a russet potato, which is a lot more starchy. The problem with russet potatoes is if they're overworked, they will go gummy. So that's where the Yukon Gold come out to be the best. They're gold standard for mashed potatoes. Now I'm going to peel these, I'm gonna cube them fairly small, about the size of my fingertip, and then toss them into cold water until I fill the bowl. Now I'm just gonna to toss them into a pot with a huge pinch of salt, turn the heat on high, bring them to a boil for eight minutes. That's enough time to cook these smaller cubes without them getting waterlogged. Now in the video, testing the secrets for crispy roasted potatoes, we learned that boiling potatoes in baking soda released some of the starches, resulting in a crispier potato. But I wanted to find out if that led to a softer mashed potato. So I peeled some more potatoes, tossed them into a pot, exactly the same thing with a huge pinch of salt over high heat, and this time I added a half teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna let these cook for eight minutes as well. Once we hit the eight minutes, I just wanted to test see if they were done, if they would break apart with a fork. And you can see these are perfectly soft. But what I found out right off the bat was the potatoes boiled in baking soda were much softer. This is already looking pretty good. Now, does how you mash your potatoes make a difference? 100% yes. So I wanted to test a few different ways on how people mash their potatoes. I tested a potato masher, which I think is the most popular, along with a food mill and a potato ricer. Now the problems with a potato masher is they will still leave some lumps. This is my least favorite tool, and I actually bought this just to share with you how much I actually hated it. You have to overwork the potato to get it pillowy smooth, which is gonna end up leading to a gummier potato. Your bowl also needs to be fairly large or you need to mash in the pot. As you can see here, I wasn't even able to reach the bottom of the bowl with this, so that's a little frustrating. So let's just toss that one to the side. Now second up, I'm going to use a tool that I don't know if a lot of you have. That is a food mill. There's a little screw inside that forces the potato down through smaller holes, gently mashing the potatoes. With this, you're going to end up with super smooth potatoes. It's fairly easy to use. It's kind of a pain to clean. Personally, I use this mostly for making tomato sauce. I have no gripes with using it with potatoes, but if if you're gonna be making mashed potatoes, the next tool is my favorite, a potato ricer. This is super easy to use. One press and the potatoes come out perfect. They're the smoothest, the fluffiest mashed potatoes, no other work is needed, and they're gonna be perfect every single time. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue smashing the potatoes through the potato ricer, just like you should smash that like button. I know that was terrible. Uh, and click the subscribe button if you liked what I'm doing here. Now at this point, we're gonna add some fat. Commonly people make their potatoes loaded with butter and cream. What we actually need is just fat and acid, which butter and cream provide. But it also adds lactose and dairy, which many are intolerant of or simply avoid. And it adds heaviness to the potato, and I wanna limit that and add airiness to. So I'm gonna be adding two tablespoons of vegan plant butter to the plain boiled potatoes and the baking soda boiled potatoes. I'm also gonna be adding a, a big pinch of salt to each one of these. And gen just gently mix that in until it's melted. Again, we don't wanna overwork it. Now this has a similar amount of fat and not as heavy as margarine. Now before I get the comments about how I ruined it or how vegan butter is just margarine, it's not. Go ahead and take one second to Google it yourself. It won't hurt you to learn something new. It's not margarine, just like peanut butter is not margarine. Now at this point, I'm going to separate each of my potatoes into four different batches, two containers for each, because I wanna test one last thing. I've read that adding an acid like vinegar can help fluff up the potatoes. This might make a little sense as the acid will tighten the starches and help you create a more airy mixture when you whip it in, but I also feel like it could make them a little gummy. We'll find out. It will add to the flavor and brighten them, that's for sure. The other thing I read was adding baking soda at the end. Baking soda will actually react to the acid in the fat source, like the vegan butter, creating a gas and naturally fluffing the potatoes in a similar way that it fluffs bread. So that might work. So here I have my water boiled potatoes with vinegar and baking soda, and my baking soda boiled potatoes with vinegar and baking soda. I have a feeling the double baking soda batch might be a little too much and really affect the flavor, but we'll find out. So now that these are all mixed together, let's see what Monica has to say. 
So you don't know which one's which. Mm -mm. We're just gonna go through. What we're looking for is the fluffiest. Okay. What do you think is gonna be the fluffiest? So let's start at this one. This one's pretty fluffy, pretty cloudy looking yeah, potato. Yeah, it's fluffy. But you want it Cheers. to know fluffiest in my mouth. Fluffiest in your mouth. Okay, all right. That's pretty fluffy. Mm-hmm. That is like fluffy. Potato. I mean, that is really fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move on to this one. This one's a little bit denser, but we'll see how it tastes in our mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's denser. That one does have a little bit of a different taste. Yeah. I don't really know how to describe it. Plainer. Yeah, maybe it's that. This one's a little bit sour, mm -hmm. which makes sense because this one has vinegar in it. Yeah. This one might be more pillowy. This one's softer. This one's softer, but it's like... Oh, a little bit more um, runnier. This one mm -hmm. tastes more like, um, like it's whipped. Yeah. This one is... looks very pillowy to me. It's hard for me to it's tell. It's hard to tell, but... Yeah, I'll have to wait till I taste it. Mmm, that's really light and fluffy. I yeah, like it's... that a lot. And it's not runny at all, and it is really fluffy. Yeah, super fluffy. It also has more of a potato, like... Mm, hold on. Let me taste this. This one is, like, mm. just a little less plain than this one. Like, it has a little bit more flavor, but I don't taste, like, a bunch of sourness. Yeah. So, like... It's right in between. It's almost like the perfect one because it's a little bit more fluffy and it's got just a slight amount of flavor. Yeah, there's fluffy to it. Mm -hmm. The flavor's really good. It is a nice flavor. Like, it is a really, really nice flavor. It's really nice and subtle. Wanna try this one? Yeah. Okay. This one feels very dense. Ooh, it does you can even feel like see that, like yeah. Like, I mean, it looks dense. Oh yeah, that one's just more dense. Least bit. It also has that runniness to it. Yeah. But it's not like soft. I mean, I mean, you can't, I mean, potatoes are soft in general, but like it's not the soft feel that this one had. Yeah, this one's um just too soft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Me too. Mm hmm And honestly, like these three aren't bad. This is just my favorite. Yeah. Mm hmm So, this one is the most fluffy and the most flavor. Baking soda, the one that was cooked in baking soda with a splash of vinegar added mm, in the end. It's a splash. Yeah, I think that's the trick, really. Okay. These two were just cooked plain. Okay. And then this one had baking soda added to it in the end, and this one had vinegar added mm, to it in the end. So this is baking soda and vinegar, and then this yep. one is just baking soda? Just cooked soda. in baking soda, nothing added okay. in the end. Well, there's the secret of the perfectly yeah. creamy, fluffy, pillowy mashed potato. That's perfect, I yeah. love that. I'm glad we discovered that. Boom. Boom, baking soda and vinegar. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yay.